Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the legislative change in California to lower the penalty on exposing partners to HIV. All right, so I just want to take this moment to talk a little bit about what's been going on and why I haven't been streaming the last couple of days. Uh, I've been trying to fix my sleeping habits still with no success. I've been trying to fix my social life a little bit with no success. And I've been trying to find out whether we're moving or not with very little success as well. So very little success has been going on as of the last couple of days. And there's been other things I've been trying to focus on to try to see if there's anything I can actually do to, to try to maybe increase the channel with no success. Lots of things going on, no success. And honestly, it's just been really, really rough with all of this, this going on. And I just needed some time away from the internet from the computer from the channel and everything else like that because despite the fact that this is very fun work and I really enjoy doing this kind of work it's work and it's still stressful at times and I just needed to cut something out of my life for just a little while since all of that fell through I just figured I might as well come back to the one thing at least I enjoy so moving on from that we should be seeing everything normal Let's go on ahead and actually get into the article that we were going to be talking about today, which is going to be from CNN, and obviously, of course, there will be a link in the description below. All right, so to start off with, as you can see from the CNN, uh, lowers penalty for knowing, or California lowers penalty for knowingly exposing partners to HIV. Which to start off with, I um, as most of you guys probably know by now, this is probably this isn't really like the biggest deal in the world or anything like that because HIV is not AIDS. AIDS is the one that will pretty much guaranteedly kill you. HIV, you can essentially live a normal life on medication. So it, but HIV will lead into AIDS, though there's been proof that that doesn't. It's not the case or something weird like that. But I don't know. The point is, is that as far as I'm aware of, HIV does lead into AIDS and HIV is the less severe version of the two. Now, from what I do know behind all of all of this is that they haven't made the exposing HIV someone a not a crime. It's in fact still a crime. The idea is, is that this is not a felony. It used to be a felony to knowingly expose your partner to HIV um, and so on and so forth. But now it's been changed to a misdemeanor. Um, so I guess they get like fined or something like that. Now, so let's go ahead and read the first part of this um, article. The video sort of talks about, it gives this weird little thing about how we're fighting for our lives for, for gays or something like that. It's a little weird. If you'd like to watch it, feel free to watch it, but we're not going to watch it here. So start, starting on January 1st, 2018, it will no longer be a major crime in California to knowingly expose a sexual partner to HIV without disclosing the infection. Government Jerry Brown signed legislation on Friday that lowers the offense from a felony to a misdemeanor. The California legislature passed SB 239 on September 11th. It's an interesting time, day to do it on. The law previously punished people who knowingly exposed or infected others with HIV by up to eight years in prison. This new legislation will lower jail time to a maximum of six months. See, and that seems wrong to me. Because here's the thing. See, I'm saying lowering it seems wrong. See, here's the thing. Specifically what it is, is that you are knowingly, you are purposely ruining someone's life effectively by exposing them to HIV. You're possibly killing them. I mean, like, you are in turn effectively killing somebody because you are giving them a disease that will be with them for the rest of their lives. Now, don't get me wrong, considering the next, like, 20 years or so in advancements in medical sciences and other things like that, it's very plausible HIV and AIDS will both be cured. But I don't know. I mean, obviously, I don't know. But more than likely, something else is going to take its place, or at least that's, that's my thought on it. So the question here is whether or not it's actually a good idea to keep it like this and lower it. I mean, they're only going to be in jail for like six months, which means it's like if I want to go like just pal around and just give everybody I know a whole bunch of uh, HIV viruses, then I'm going to basically, you know, get out of jail and just do it again. 
Now, I think it's still a felony to do it with AIDS, because I think you can, that's the thing that, like, this doesn't discuss AIDS at all, really, other than the fact that HIV leads to AIDS sometimes. So, no one, no, nothing on here specifically states anything about how HIV or AIDS or anything else, like, or nothing says anything about AIDS being lowered, which is good, because if they lowered AIDS, that would be grim, because AIDS is literally a death sentence, so I don't know. At least right now it is. So, let's go ahead and keep reading. Um, the new law also reduces the penalty for knowingly do donating HIV-infected blood from a felony to it. See, that's even worse. You're knowingly... Dis you, that, that's horrible. Like, you're knowingly donating the blood. You're knowingly doing it. Like, th that's the key. That's the key word here, is knowingly doing it. And I think that's what's really wrong about it, and why pe like this is this is reason why the whole crazy left and this is the this is the biggest problem really if you really think about it the individuals with the uh, with the opinions with the with the ideas of stuff like intersectionality diversity training diversity quotas all that kind of stuff all of the end the ones who are all about like let's not hurt people's feelings let's not you know go on all that kind of stuff. That kind of thing is one of those things. The, the people who are advocating for that kind of stuff are the ones who are running for offices. So it doesn't matter if there are other people out there who aren't like who don't believe that kind of stuff. They're not the ones running for for offices. I hear Ben Shapiro is running for offices, possibly running for an office. So I don't know if that's going to be the case or at all. Um, but that would be interesting to see if Ben Shapiro did something like that. I'm not sure if he's old enough, though. But let's go ahead and keep reading. Um, Bill sponsors Senator Scott Weiner. I love that name. And uh, assembling Todd Gloria, both Democrats, argued California law was outdated and stigmatized people living with HIV. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. It stigmatized people with HIV? Are you serious? Stigmatized. It's not stigmatizing somebody for... It's stigmatizing somebody who's intentionally poisoning somebody. P intentionally infecting someone. Like, you're maliciously infecting someone. Like, intentionally infecting someone is a malicious act. I read in another article where they actually express that someone I intentionally infecting someone with HIV is sentencing this person for the rest of their lives to have to deal with constant medicative use, use of medication for the rest of their lives. Not only that, but I also saw another quote that they're sentencing them to over a million dollars in medical bills because of all of that stuff. And the fact is, is that this is a malicious act. This is an act of actual, like, hatred towards another individual if you are purposely infecting somebody with the hiv virus then you are putting them their lives in danger you are literally putting another person's life in danger and that's one of the worst things that you can do and i'm just in my personal opinion that's the reason why it should stay a felony. That's the reason why it should. And it's not, look, look, look. If you didn't know you had HIV and you infected somebody, that's not intentionally infecting someone. That's not, you know, whatever. If you tell somebody that you have HIV and you move on from there and then stuff happens and then they get infected, that was their problem. They, you cho they chose to, be, to take the chance. You know what I mean? That's up to them. The fact is that you should disclose... HIV, being HIV isn't like being transgender. You know what I mean? If you really don't feel like you want to let somebody know that you're transgender, that's fine. But you know what? Not letting somebody know that you have an infectious disease that will at some point in your life more than likely kill you, and not just you, kill them. Like It will more than likely eventually at some point kill them if they get it. You know what I mean? Going down, you can see the opposition to the bill... Uh, many Republicans, obviously, of course, uh, staunchly, of course, are just going to say, oh, Republicans, obviously, they horrible Republicans, because only Republicans are dumb enough to actually think that way, right? <sighs> Saying it could lead to an increase in HIV infections, which it definitely will. 
Senator Jeff Stone voted against the bill and strongly expressed this disapproval in September when the Senate voted on it. Stone, who is also a pharmacist, took aim at Wiener and Gloria's argument that modern medicine can lower the spread of HIV. The senator said three of out of four people who are on prescription medication in the United States do not comply with their doctor's orders on how to take it. If you don't take your AIDS medication and you allow for some virus to duplicate and show a presence, then you are able to transmit the disease to an unknowing partner, Stone said on the Senate floor. Senator Joel Anderson, another Republican who voted against the bill, argued that people infected with HIV could never live their lives to the same extent again. He said it was irresponsible not to disclose that the possibility of a life-altering infection. The critical word in this is intentionally like that's the important part no one really pays attention to language in this and you know except for apparently republicans anderson said in september when you were intentionally put others at risk you should have responsibility and i that's right there the statement that i think should just end it all there should be no other arguments against any of this that argument right there is what should matter if you intentionally, intentionally infect someone like this, then you should be held responsible for it. And in this particular situation, you're not. You're altering someone's life permanently. Your life should be altered permanently. End of the thing is Los Angeles LGBT Center also supported the bill. The organization's director of government relations, Aaron Fox, told CNN the new law will see HIV positive people treated fairly under California law. Yeah, they'll be treated fairly. See, what would be fair is if you make sure that transmission, intentional transmission, and non-intentional transmission are considered basically like different. That would be fair because maliciously and in, in intentionally infecting someone and not maliciously infecting someone are two different things if you do it by accident then i don't think you should be punished if you do it and the other person already knew about it and you didn't and basically both of you knew about it and then it happens anyways then no one's at fault here no one's did a crime but if you go around and you purposely infect someone with HIV, if you're purposely going around per trying to do it to make sure as many people get infected with it as possible, that's dangerous. And don't get me wrong, I think you'd go under multiple accounts of that if you were to like do it like multiple times. But there's no real like with only six months, like at maximum, that's the worst part. With at maximum, only six months that you can be spending in jail for intentionally infecting somebody even if you go around and infect like 12 people what if you only get like a month in jail for each one so you're only in there for a year that's the end of the article i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there i certainly hope you guys did like this video if you guys did you guys know the drill by now go and hit that like button if you liked it if you really liked it go and hit that share button and share it with your friends if you really loved it and you haven't already hit that subscribe button and if you haven't already go and hit that bell button so you can get notifications from whenever my live streams come on and whenever my videos come out so you guys can actually see them so take care guys and i'll see you around